I'm going to be talking today about the mayor and city council pay, salaries for the mayor, salaries for city council members. And the question before you today would be, should the pay for mayor and city council members be removed from the city charter? Should the pay for mayor and city council be increased? So there's two questions. Salaries for the mayor and city council are specified in the city charter. The current council member pay was established back in March 8, 1977, and compensation for the mayor was established June 2, 1970. The mayor earns <clears throat> the mayor earns $3,600 per year, and the city council members earn $1,200 per year. Council member salary is based upon $50, $50 per meeting attended, limited to two paid meetings per month. The mayor receives $200 monthly stipend, plus the monthly $100 meeting fee for a total of $300 a month. So with perfect attendance, council members earn $1,200 a year, and the mayor earns $3,600 a year. Additionally, city council members, including the mayor, receive a $110.98 monthly mileage allowance. And they're reimbursed for attending conferences. And they are all eligible for health benefits. Alameda city council members who serve on three boards and commissions earn additional stipends for that service. Salaries for the auditor, the treasurer, the city manager, the city attorney, and the city clerk are set by the council. Thus, they are not specified in the charter. So we have two methods here to determine compensation. First of all, we could remove the compensation for mayor and city council from the city charter using the same process for all city elected officials. Compensation would be in line with cities comparable to Alameda, considering demographic, economic, geographic area, and tax base. So taking a look at that, mayoral salaries in Napa is $35,860. They have a population of a little over 78,000. We have about a little over 75 or 76,000. In Mountain View, the mayor makes $8,924, and they have over 76,000 residents. San Leandro, $25,000, the mayor earns, and they have a population, the largest of each that I'm going to cite, they have a, a population of about 87, over 87,000, and they, that, and then 22,000 in Milpitas for a population of 74,000. So you could just look at those and come up with an idea for Alameda based on cities that are around us that have comparable uh, populations. Another option to come up with salaries is to follow the California State Government Code. That sets salaries for non-charter cities based on population. Now remember, we are a charter city. So for cities under the California State Government Code, with 50,000 to 75,000 residents, the state recommends $500 a month. For cities like us, with 75,000 to 100 residents, the state suggests $600 per month. Alameda's population, as I said, is about 76,000. So as a charter city, Alameda does not have to follow the government code, but it does provide a useful guidance if we want to just look at other examples of how to set a salary. For annual increases, the state code allows city council salaries to be adjusted up to 5% per year. Alternately, salaries could be adjusted based on the consumer price index. So what are some of the pros and cons uh, regarding increasing salaries? Uh, increasing salaries would attract a larger pool of candidates who would maybe not be able to financially run for uh, office. It moves the offices from volunteer positions. Third would be Alameda should pay elected officials a fair salary for their work. Fourth, it would not require, and you might think this is a con, but I have it under pro, so I'll read it as I have it, does not require an election to pay the increase. 
Now you would have to have an election because it's in the charter. Salaries would be consistent, then you could make them consistent with some of these other cities like Mountain View and San Leandro. The cons would, re it would require an additional s expenditure from the city's general fund, and it would remove direct voter approval for county, for city pay, or council pay. So that's what you have for the pay, for the salary. Thank you very much for your attention.